It is the northeast monsoon season here in Singapore, which means we should expect more rainfall and more possible flooding as well. Well, since we're already, or you would already be feeling the impact, across Singapore, rainfall has been on the rise. In 1980, average rainfall was 96 millimeters, but in 2012, it rose to 117 millimeters. Now, in the first seven days of this month, November, the average rainfall was 17.3 millimeters. That's twice the amount compared to the average November rainfall of 8.5 millimeters seen in the past few years. Uh, when it comes to flash floods, there were 15 days in 2010, but that climbed to 23 days each in 2011 and in 2012. So to help us to understand the changing weather patterns here is Dr. Wisdom Chong from the National University of Singapore. So doctor, thanks for coming in today. Now there's growing concern that climate change is the cause of these scenarios. So we just saw what happened in the Philippines earlier. Yes. Would you say that climate change is the main driving factor behind this? It is one of the main factors behind it. Uh, with the projected increases in temperature, both over the land and over the ocean, especially in Southeast Asia, you would expect conditions to be favorable for very intense storms like what has been going on in the Philippines and today in Vietnam as well. But also it would possibly increase the frequency of such storms to hit uh, us in Southeast Asia in the future. So, which is, so we're in it for the long yes. haul? We are, okay. Uh, in Singapore, we're seeing some extreme weather patterns as well, more rainfall, uh, more flash floods. Uh, you know, how far can this be attributed to climate change as well? Are other factors involved? Well, other factors are definitely involved. And in order to attribute uh, such storms directly to climate change, you need to have some uh, studies that take place after the event. Um, but having said that, you could say that um, we do know that with the increased temperatures, uh, which allows for more moisture to be held in the air, and much more energy for such uh, storms to take place, um, then you could say that yes, uh, to a certain extent, you have to consider climate change as a factor behind uh, such rain events that we've been experiencing in Singapore. So, you know, looking back over the years, going back to historical trends, maybe in the 70s or the 80s, how does it compare then and how does it compare with what we're seeing right now? Well, back in the 70s, looking at the historical data, temperatures were slightly lower than what we see now. Uh, also, the amount of uh, precipitation events, rainfall events uh, that were just as intense as what we've been seeing now were less frequent as well. So the climate has definitely changed in terms of the rainstorm and in the temperature um, that we've been seeing today. Okay, I mean, with any storm or, or any heavy rainfall, we would expect to have some floods. So we've had mm. it before, we fixed it with drainage, and the government is also, you know, ramping up efforts to fix our canals, widen them. Mm -hmm. But um, this is a problem that's not just unique to Singapore, right? Yes. It's, I mean, it's a problem that a lot of urbanized cities face as well. Yes, they do. Uh, particularly with more people moving to urban areas, cities worldwide are getting larger, so you'll be covering much more natural, uh, what was previously natural land cover with more urbanized surfaces like roads, asphalt, concrete, etc., etc. Uh, you would increase the amount of uh, precipitation that goes towards runoff instead of being infiltrated into the surface and you would increase the likelihood of floods happening as well. But uh, you also have to consider that uh, the climate is not static anymore, it's changing and then with more intense precipitation events you would inc increase the likelihood of flash floods happening. So what can we learn from other countries? What other measures will work in Singapore apart from uh, widening canals or building detention tanks? You could uh, leave natural spaces to allow for rainwater to infiltrate into the ground. That could work, but you have to be aware of the space limitations that we have, especially in a very small island like Singapore. So recently we saw some uh, unusual or unpredictable weather patterns. We had hail in June. You know, should we expect that we're going to see more unpredictable weather patterns in the future? Uh, well, you can't say that you can expect such events to happen. Those, the hail event that happened this year wasn't unprecedented. It happened a few years back. But um, I would say that you could expect such interesting weather phenomenon to happen in the future as well. All right. Thank you very much for coming today. It's My great pleasure. speaking to Thank you. Thank you. And that was Dr. Chow on the changing weather patterns, not uh, just here at home in Singapore, but across the region as well.